Welcome to Logic Compound Propositions. Let's start with conjunction. And you will see this symbol, and conjunction means and. Conjunction, the word and, can be used to join two pro propositions together. Its symbol is an upside-down V, and whenever you see this symbol, read this as and. The conjunction of two statements, P and Q, are defined by this truth table. So you have the first proposition here, or first statement, and then this is your second statement. If your first statement is true, and your second statement is also true, so P and Q is true. If your first statement is false, and your second statement is true, then P and Q is false. If your first proposition is F and your second proposition is true, then P and Q is false. For the last one, if your first proposition is false and your second proposition is false, then your P and Q is false. Okay, if you notice, Everything is false except for the first one, and that's when the first and the second pro proposition are both true. Okay, so if also you notice, I use proposition and statement interchangeably so that you know proposition and statement mean the same. Okay. So let's have an example. Uh, express the following compound statement in words using all these symbols. Our first proposition is Susan speaks French, and the second proposition is Susan speaks Spanish. Let's do P and Q. For P and Q, should be Susan speaks French and Spanish. Okay, for letter B, we're using our previous lesson, which is negation. Negate P and Q. So let's negate proposition P first and then put in Q. So we will have Susan does not speak French and does speak Spanish. Okay. Letter C. We want P and the negation of Q. Okay, so it's going to be Susan speaks French and does not speak Spanish. Okay, let's move on to D then. In D, let, it's the negation of P and the negation of Q. So we're going to negate both propositions. So it's going to be Susan does not speak French and does not speak Spanish. Okay, the last one, letter E. Let's negate propositions P and Q. Yeah, so, Susan does not speak both French and Spanish. Okay, I hope that was clear. And so then, here's another uh, sample, example, and you may encounter this kind of problem during the test. It's complete the truth table, P, and the negation of P. Okay, so if P, if the first proposition is true, let's negate true, so true will become false. If you remember the, the truth table that we went over for conjunction or and, you know that when the first proposition is true, and the second one is false, then Q and the, and the second proposition is going to be false. Okay, let's move on. If then our first proposition, instead of being true, is false, okay, then when we negate false, false becomes true. Okay, and the same way, when, if you remember the truth table that we had for conjunction, if P is false and the next proposition, the second proposition is true, then Q and the next prep, 
the second proposition is going to be false. Okay, now if you have something like this, okay, this is an example, this truth table is an example of a contradiction or what we call logical contradiction. Contradiction is when a compound preposition that will show it's always true regardless of the truth values of the individual propositions. So when a compound proposition is always false, then it's called contradiction. We will learn this again later on. Okay. So check your understanding. Stop this video. Open your textbook and practice Solve numbers 3, 9, 11, and 12 on pages 389 and 390. If you're having troubles, don't hesitate to stop the video. Go back and watch this video again. Okay, to, to keep going, let's now discuss the word or. Now, as I have mentioned in our previous lesson, I said that there will be two meanings for or. Okay, But or is called conjunction and first we're going to discuss what we what they call inclusive disjunction. The symbol for this looks like a V or a wedge. Okay, so this is when you combine two propositions using or. The inclusive disjunction of any two statements P and Q is written P or Q. So whenever you see this symbol, you're going to read it as or. Okay. For inclusive or, it this means that either P or Q are true or is true, sorry, or possibly both are true. So if you're going to look at the truth table of inclusive disjunction, when the first proposition is true and the second one is true, definitely P and Q is true. Okay, now remember that we said that for, the, for this inclusive disjunction, it's possible that both propositions are true. On the second one, when the first proposition is false and the second proposition is true, then P or Q is true. Okay. Uh, when your first proposition is false and then the second proposition is true, again, P or Q is true. Okay. But when both propositions are false, this is the only time that inclusive disjunction or is going to be false. Okay. For example, the clock is slow. This is your first proposition. And then the second one, Q, the time is incorrect. You say P or Q, when we write it, the clock is slow or the time is incorrect. These two propositions, the clock is slow, could be true, and then the second one is true, so they so the entire compound statement is true. Okay, now if the first one is true and the second one is false, this still stands as true, just like uh, what we said in the truth table. Now, if the first proposition, the clock being slow, is false, and then the second one is true, this is still, this compound statement is, statements is, true, is still true. The other one that is for OR is called exclusive disjunction and the symbol is a V with a line underneath it. Okay, It's still OR so whenever you see this symbol you still read it as OR. So this one is only true when only one of the propositions is true. So this symbol means P or Q. It's either P or Q, but not both. Okay, we need to remember, this is not going, the compound statement is not going to be true when 
it's both. Okay, the exclusive disjunction, here is your truth table. First proposition, proposition is true. The second one is true. So P or Q is false. First statement is false. Second statement is true. Then P or Q is true. When the first proposition is false, okay, I made a mistake here. This should be true and then this is false. So then this is going to be true. Now, false and false is false. Okay. Example. The penalty for those who found guilty of speeding is $500 fine or three months in prison, but not both. Okay. Now you see this phrase, but not both. So when you express it, it in symbol for these two propositions or statements, when you write the compound statement, you'll be using the symbol V with a line underneath. On letter B, the penalty for those who found guilty of speeding is a $500 fine or three months in prison. In this compound statement, you are saying that it is possible for the person found guilty of speeding will receive both a fine and a prison term. So in this case, you may use the symbol V or OR. When you read it, it's OR. Okay. I hope it's clear the difference between inclusive disjunction and ex uh, exclusive disjunction. Okay, now if we take a look at the Venn diagram, you will see in the purple one, okay, the uh, Venn diagram, the intersection portion of P and Q is going to be the conjunction or end. The red part, that means this part of P outside the intersection portion and the Q part outside the intersection is your disjunction. Okay. So, practice your understanding. Check your understanding by answering the questions uh, number two to four on pages 392 to 393. I'll see you in class.